In this video, I'm gonna be walking you through the Tao Tao kill tasks. It's a great quest to do for getting legendary keys. Um, I recommend doing it in a group. We have you know, quite a few of us here to do it today. You just go to Tao Tao and right from the drop, there's all these NPCs. If you just speak with them, they'll flag you for all the different kill tasks. There are six in total. Now, five of them, you can be, I believe any level, the sixth kill task is for shadowy pillars and you have to be level 180 to flag for that one. Now, if you're below level 180, you're gonna have a hard time in Tao Tao to begin with, but you can still, um, you can still do the quests, you are going to get a lower experience reward for the turn-ins. Now each of the kill tasks rewards quite a few legendary keys, which is great, uh, great, just great for getting loot. Um, you know, it's, uh, it's a nice reward. So I, yeah, I believe you get five for each kill task, so 25 in total. I always have to check my inventory to make sure I have space because they actually, for whatever reason, reward individual keys instead of like um you know a key that has five uses which is quite frustrating um yeah so once you flag with the npcs you just run towards the old uh town i don't know what else to call it yeah the old town you can see the meeting hall there and where tau tau used to be is now just completely destroyed so what you're going to be going for is void lords that's what these are there are shadow flyers Penumbrous, Panumbrous, Penumbrous, I don't know. Penumbrous Shadows, um, Devourer Margols, and there are Grievers, which are like the big spidery things. It can get uh, pretty quickly overwhelming out here. So, you know, that's why it is good to go in a group. The other really nice thing to remember when you're doing kill tasks is summons for yourself only are going to actually count like for instance there i got two kills for that one shadow uh because my summon hit it and there it happened again so summons but you have to keep that in mind in a group they only affect you which you know that can be frustrating towards the end you know, because you're done and someone else is still working on it. So the weapon that I'm using for this is actually the Shadow Nether Esparian Wand. I find it helps a lot with getting these kill tasks done. Um, you'll see I do a ton of damage to anything that's actually a shadow. And when things aren't a shadow because I'm void, I just try to cast my DOTs or, um, you know, cast Imperil or, um, or Volm for my teammates, for my fellowship. Um, you know, and that, that seems to work pretty well. The, uh, the XP actually here for hunting as one of my fellows levels up. The XP here for hunting is, is pretty good. Uh, maybe I'll, I'll check that at the end. I have, um, Verindi has part of their bundle, something that tracks your experience in a fellowship. And the last thing that I recommend before just jumping into doing these kill tasks is you can get contracts. So I have these one, two, three, four, five tab tile contracts. There, for whatever reason, there isn't one for the shadowy pillars, but for the other five, they're great for just tracking your progress and, uh, you know, yeah, seeing where everything is. So. You don't have to kill something extra to know that, you know, you got it. Yeah, the uh, the Shadow Nether Wand is great for Shadow Flyers because I basically one hit them at this point. And if I can land on the Penumbra Shadows, they have really high magic T. I believe they have really high melee D too, so it's not just... Uh... Um, one thing that I will caution you on is the Shadows Breaths do a ton of damage in large bursts. So I always recommend when you're in like a big pack of mobs to go after the Shadows Breaths first. So 
So this is one of the pillars. They spawn in fixed points. So there's one um, pretty close to the meeting hall. And obviously if you're a mage, Tusker Fists work great. Um, and then typically the way we run the kill tasks is you'll do, like you'll clear the spawn near the meeting hall where that pillar is, and then you'll work your way north. There's another pillar on the other side of town and kill that one and then just wait for a respawn and do that twice. You can, of course, bring other characters of your own and, you know, do the kill tasks while, you know, that character kind of leeches off of yourself. And what I like to do and what I've seen many people do is you can jump onto the tree and then from the tree, you can jump onto the meeting hall. And while it's not completely safe, you can um, you can still obviously take um, like harm damage and stuff like that. Um, it is safer, <laughs> which is nice. Yeah, so these are the Grievers, um, big weird spidery things. I have Void Lords in my um, Verindy sense because those are the ones that I find are the hardest to finish. You have to kill 15 and they spawn in groups of one where most of the other mobs spawn in larger groups. And yeah, so you'll see I did just did 1400 damage. So when I hit, I hit hard, but they have such high magic D and melee D that uh, just hitting becomes an issue. Um, you'll see one of the people in our fellow is just acting as a healer and you know if you're maybe a little bit too low to do it where you're not going to hit any of the mobs that's a really good way where you can contribute to a fellowship doing these kill tasks you know and not just i don't want to say leech but you know you know if you're not able to hit then you might as well be a healer or um, you know keep people alive people do die running these pretty frequently so it's definitely something to you know it's a useful part of the team, 100%.
Sweet, so once you're done killing everything, you can just hit that portal recall. It's gonna take you right back to the entrance to Tatao. Uh, all you gotta do is you gotta go back and talk to each of the NPCs. It's actually kind of a pain because as soon as you talk to them, they're going to, as you'll see, just start handing you, well, if I can get them to trigger. <sighs> Let's see. All right, we'll talk to this one first. Yeah, so they're gonna give you 85 million experience, not bad, 4,000 luminance, and they're just gonna hand you legendary keys. So it's actually six legendary keys per and an MMD, which is really nice, actually. The rewards are great. Um, but it's just a little annoying because especially in a group, you've gotta kind of wait for the NPC to hand you everything very slowly, and then you've gotta go in a line. My pack gets full very quickly. Um, but yeah, overall, really great quest. Pretty easy for the rewards. Um, let's see what the final experience was. So, if, uh, wow, final five minute experience was 3 billion. But, you know, in uh, 45 minutes, I made 400 million experience. So, um, nothing to, you know, shake your fist at. Pretty good. Yeah, that's it for uh, for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found it useful. If you did, please press that like button. Please subscribe to the channel. And thanks for watching. Bye.